Hey, it's Victor again from Social Firestarter. I want to take a look at an important question today regarding blogging. So if you're not already blogging for your law firm's website, it's definitely something that you should consider to improve your law firm's rankings in Google. Um, so I want to show you how you can distinguish how many blogs you should be writing uh, or maybe the frequency as to you know how often you should produce another blog post. So uh, you want to start with basically doing a little bit of competitor research. Um, so checking out which law firms are already top ranked for the key terms that you want to rank for. Um, like for this example, we're looking at personal injury attorneys in San Antonio. So you essentially want to grab a list of your top ranked competitors and you want to see how large their website is. Um, so an important factor, um, if you could even call it a factor, but an important criteria um, for being an authoritative website, a lot of times can actually be the amount of pages that you are showing to Google off of your website. Um, so if so let me give an example. If everybody on uh, the top of page one or page one of personal injury attorney, if everybody on here has a website of 1,000 pages and your website only has 100, um, there's a really big difference there as far as what your domain looks like and how much information you're putting out there as compared to your competitors. So that's basically why you want to do this. And let me go ahead and select a few websites to look at. So ideally, you would want to use um, like some sort of a tool that can crawl these domains and give you a precise number as to how many pages are indexable. Uh, that's the key number that you really want to look for. But there is a pretty simple way to do it. Uh, most of the times, it's a really good estimate. It does sometimes mess up, messes up. Uh, but if you do the site search, just like this, right before that website, you get a, uh, a count for the amount of results off of that domain right there. So basically a very quick estimate just given by Google at this current moment, it has uh, 117 results or 117 different pages uh, that it is showing on Google search. So we can go ahead and do that for all of these. All right, so I got that done. So we've got 117, 158, 3,700. So we've got a pretty even mix of large websites and small websites. So in this case, you wouldn't be too worried um, about having a lower amount of page count, um, but you can definitely become a little bit more um, aggressive as far as your ranking just by kind of building out your website to the size of what these guys have done. So another thing that you would want to um, take a note of is that for each page, if you're using each page to target a different key term that can bring you business, then you know there's a lot of value in that as well. So you want to try and basically take all that information um, and make the best decision as far as how often you're actually going to go ahead and publish a new post. Um, and that's pretty much where I'll leave it for this video. I mean, again, you always want to kind of plan out what type of post you're going to do because oftentimes it will be much higher quality than um, if you're just posting purely to post. So always remember about finding a maybe a new question to answer or um, some sort of gap in knowledge that might be out there that you think you can fill and go ahead and build a page for that provide a bunch of content um, and you know you're on your way towards ranking for new important key terms 
So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.